Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei. Today, Power Query tutorial. We are going to do something very simple. We're going to take a data set. This is a portfolio of some value investors. And we are simply going to use Power Query to insert a blank row after each portfolio. Let me show you how to do it. As always, we pull it into Power Query. I would like to first discuss the sharp table. So this, this function you can use to create a table inside of Power Query. I'm going to quickly show you how that works. Let's say table, shop table, and let's give the column a name, column one, and we're going to give that a value. We're going to say inside of here, we're going to give you the, the value of one. So created a one column table, All right? What you can also do is you can say name, age, close it up, and inside there is a James 100. Okay, we're going to be using this function to do the insert the blank rows. Let's go back to the data set. First thing, we transform and we say group by. We're going to group it by portfolio name and we're just going to say do a sum across the portfolio name. Now this is going to crash. It's going to give me error because it couldn't do that. So what you do is just delete this entire section there, replace that over there, close all the brackets, and now you'll get this grouping over here. Basically, this grouping gives you a table for each of these portfolio name groups. What is the holdings within each of these? What I want to do now is I want to use that table function. And I say table. Yeah. But what I'll be doing is I'm going to give it the first column as no name. And then the value in there would be nothing. It's basically going to insert a blank row. So if you look at this, see over there, it inserted a blank row. Pretty cool. All we do now is we expand upon that and we say expand. And you can delete this original portfolio name. And now you see that null row in there. And if I then say close and load, there you have it. The blank row inserted in your data set. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I hope it gives you some ideas how to use a function, the sharp table function. Yeah, BA Sensei signing out.